We have one final White Sox card to debut on MLB The Show 23. I know I'm a little late to the party on this one, but guys, we've debuted every single new White Sox card we're not leaving any on the board. Plus, Paul Konerko is probably my all-time favorite player. I mean, when I was first getting into baseball, watching the White Sox, this was the dude. I can't help feel like one way or another, though, they always kind of do Paul Konerko dirty on this game. Either they don't give him a 99, or when they finally do give him a 99, nobody's playing the game anymore. But this is potentially the best Paul Konerko we have ever seen, because he can play defense. He fits the captain boost perfectly because it's his contact that's on the lower end so the plus 15 to both sides of contact and the plus 10 to the clutch brings it right up on par with that power and he's just an all-around elite hitter and I guess this is also the first game I'll be playing with this White Sox theme team since season six started it's been a long time I don't think I've assembled this theme team since the start of season five actually when we got Luis Robert and the few other other set five cards so this is how the full all sets available white Sox theme team looks keeping in mind that how i build it is just all cards that are in the white Sox inventory eligible for that mini minoso captain boost this is what i've gone with for the starting lineup both of the captains this 95 minoso and then the 92 tim anderson they both have the exact same boost so i went with mini minoso obviously because he's a higher overall but i also figure i could probably just do that thing that everybody seems to do with their captains now and sub them out immediately because we have the set one Eloy on the bench that I could just bring into left field. Now pitching wise is where it kind of gets a little interesting I guess. I did end up going with the captain version of Dylan Cease and I have his captain boost eligible. I know he's got a 97 that we miss out on by having his captain card in but when I looked at the other boosts we have the 95 Quintana who whose boost is just way worse. You only need eight pitchers to activate the tier three, which would have been nice if the boost was a little better. But the Dylan Cease boost, we only get up to the tier two of it, but it's still plus 10 hits per nine, plus 10 clutch. Whereas... The Quintana boost focused pretty much all on the walks per nine. But we do only have eight cards that fit the boost because most of this bullpen, in order to keep it competitive, we've got to go outside the confines of just White Sox cards. This is the only spot on the theme team that I allow non-White Sox cards is in the bullpen because I have to actually be able to win games. I also, you know, I could have the Liam Hendricks boost activated because you still can get his tier two. It's just his tier two isn't as good as the Dylan Cease tier two. But yeah, we're gonna be at full strength today because we're gonna have our only 99 starting pitcher who also happens to be our only parallel five on this team. He's gonna get the start. We've got our fully assembled theme team debuting Paul Konerko. The only thing that sucks is there was that glitch after the most recent ranked season ended that reset, I think, everybody back down to 192. So I tried to build myself back up a little bit, but I'm I've only made it back up to 464. I think fortunately though, most people are still building their way back up. So I don't think being all the way down at 464 automatically means a bad matchup. But here we go. Let's see who we get to take on here in our return to the White Sox theme team, Parallel 5, Hilton Smith. We don't even get to play at home though. I was kind of looking forward to return to guaranteed rate. Which speaking of the stadium, man, there's been a lot of developments within the White Sox world since the last time I made a White Sox theme team episode and no I just realized I forgot to have the jerseys on. I had the jerseys on and then I took them off and I forgot to put them back on. We even had new jerseys too that came out with the Paul Konerko in the same pack and those were the ones that I had on and I don't even remember why I took them off. Luis Robert? No, come on. Why we got to do that to him? We could add a runner on for Pauly, but now he's only going to be able to hit a solo homer. I guess we'll have to settle for it. First pitch scene from this Paul Konerko. He's just casually going like 450 to center field. He'll do that every time. Oh, 465. I'm sorry. Excuse me. 
465 casually to center field. But yeah, man, there's been a lot going on <laughs> within the White Sox since the last time I was able to say anything about the White Sox. And a lot of it just comes down to like, huh? I mean, all these off-season moves, these signings, there's been a couple trades recently. I have absolutely no idea what the White Sox are going to be next year, and I am genuinely excited for it because of that. There we go. Grounder to Aparicio there at short. I think it's pretty obvious that the White Sox are going to suck next year. I think that's the one thing that is certain. It's just... I don't really understand what they're going for with a lot of these these moves they're making. But I I don't uh, I don't post much, but occasionally I'll post something on Twitter or X. Usually if I'm ever posting something there, it's White Sox related. So, you know, if anybody cares enough, the link to that should still be in my description even though I haven't checked in a while to make sure the link still works. There we go. We got him to bounce it in. Swung at it. One, two, three, first inning for Lance Lynn. Let's go build on this lead. Oh, no. Baines. Dude, nobody else I'm doing anything with. I know that one's on me for swinging at a terrible pitch, but Paulie's the only one doing anything. Moncada? Is this stadium going to make that carry enough? I don't think so. You know what? I think I am. I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to sub him out. I mean, everybody else does it, so I'm hoping it actually works and the captain boost stays on. But especially at this field at Shield Woods, Eloy doesn't have a lot of ground to cover out there in left, so that low fielding rating shouldn't hurt too much. Oh, and I'm getting under it with him too. Bring Pauly back up. That's my only way that I can score. Ooh, okay, I guess he's going to start swinging the bat. Well, that first inning might have been a fluke. Oh my god, he took me deep. I really thought that that was going to be a good pitch there, but he was just all over it. Huh, well, that was his 217th home run with Chipper Jones. I just caught a glimpse of that. Okay, there we go. We can't not have him make contact. Everything he shouldn't be hitting, he's fouling off. This is why I don't really like playing this far down in the ratings sometimes. All-star difficulty, man. It can be frustrating. There we go. That cutter away seems to be working to righties, but we got some work to do here. This isn't going to be an easy win. Wow, that is the first time he broke out that slow change. He waited for the perfect time. Oh my god, I really can't do anything. Please get Paul Konerko back up to the plate right now. Even when I even when I make a better swing, it still hit close enough that he's just diving all over the field making plays. Oh my god, that's going to go. I am not even going to run for it. That's annoying. There we go. I swear, that cutter away to righties. It's getting him every single time. Too bad he doesn't have more righties. Oh my god, he can't not make contact wherever I throw it. Way below the zone, way above the zone. I guess if it gets an out, I shouldn't complain. We've got Paulie do up this inning, though, so it's at least going to be 3-2 to two after this one. Oh, come on, man. I'm getting under plenty of pitches, too, but it's this stadium. That should be okay. Oh my god. Go. Oh, it doesn't have enough lift. Look at that swing. Come on, I didn't hop back on the White Sox theme team to just sit here and get angry. Let's get some results going. That one's that one's not going. It's not going. Oh my god. All three of those swings this inning realistically could have left. I could be up 4-3 with no outs. All right, keep it on the ground. That's that's what's best here. Oh, well, you'd think that'd be okay, too. You know, throwing it about a foot below the zone, getting him to swing late. Nope, it's a double. Oh, no, and now he's taking that. My one source of free outs is being taken away from me. I really wonder if this guy is contact swinging. You wouldn't think so, because he's gone deep a couple times, but I don't know if he's swung the bat and missed it. <laughs> and missed one time. The closest thing I've got is a foul tip into the glove. I don't know if he has a swing and miss. Or no, now I'm remembering all the way back in the first inning, 
I punched him out on a swing and miss, but that might be the only one. Dude, this game's moving quick. We're already in the fifth. I've only made him throw 30 pitches because all I'm doing is swinging at the pitches he's leaving in the zone, which is just about every pitch. And I'm not doing anything with him. Oh my God, I'm biting out of the zone. I'm really just in swing mode now. This isn't good. <laughs> Somebody's got to do something at some point, right? This can't be how the rest of this game goes. Okay, I really thought that was going to be a line out to third. I didn't want to swing at that. That was supposed to be a check swing. Oh, but it worked out. It's getting down. I don't know how he didn't get there. I thought that would have been easy for him to run down, but we got a double from Grandal driving in Eloy, all a two out rally right now. And then one more good swing can't get the job done. It's right to short, but hey, we got one back. Would it be weird if the next time we got a ground ball hit, I purposefully make a yellow throw just to see Pauly scoop it over at first, just to put that gold feeling to work? I kind of want to do it. Oh my God. He just surprises me sometimes with the swings he makes. All right, well, I'm not going to get the yellow throw here with the runner on. Let's get out of the inning. Maybe do it next time. TA, hey, we got one down the line. We got one past an infielder. I still would like to actually get under the hanging slider. Get through. Okay, we've got two on. Two on. Nobody out for Paulie. He's done nothing but make good swings today, and one more could give us the lead. No, I... Look at the timing. I was ready for it. Man, 101, and I was ready to get around it, too. Okay, well, we'll just have to let Frank do it. I guess if Pauly can't get the job done, somebody has to. Oh, now we're really going. Leaves that sinker right down the middle, and Harold Baines won't let him live with it. Back to back. I think all of our home runs... Oh, he's about to quit, isn't he? No. No. All right, well, we did make it into the sixth, so I don't know if I really want to play a whole second ranked game. So how's about we throw this theme team into a moonshot game? Get Paulie a couple more at bats that way. We'll even give Davey Garcia the start and keep the uh, theme team theme. Still couldn't manage to play at home, though, I see. Still couldn't manage to put the White Sox jerseys on either, could I? My God, just remember one thing. Oh, no, I'm late. Come on. Paulie was doing nothing but get around on 100 plus against Hilton Smith, and now against the common, we can't. There we go. Luis Roberts not going to miss that. That is the definition of a moonshot. Hey, there we go. Look at Davey Garcia out there getting the weak ground out. Oh my god, he's getting another one. Back to back pitches. Oh no. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, we got it! No home runs today! I'd say that's an ideal moonshot inning on the mound. Two rollover grounders and then a robbed homer. There we go, and Harold Baines is going lefty-lefty. He brought in a lefty to only face Baines because he's our only lefty, and we're just going to do that. Oh, no. I don't know if we have enough to take this out to center. Nope. Stop hitting it to center field. Oh, no, continue hitting it to center field. No, Paulie couldn't get any lift on it. At least he's getting another hit before this episode's over. And that will wrap this little moonshot game up. All right, guys, so that'll wrap things up for today. I feel like it's worth mentioning. This isn't it yet for the White Sox theme team. I have a couple more episodes, a couple more ideas for some more uh, White Sox theme team type games so make sure you check back in for those hit that subscribe button maybe if you haven't yet so that you'll be able to see but in terms of new player debuts that's it we got them all done fell behind sometimes but i always caught back up and we got everybody debuted on a video. So guys, thanks once again for watching. Thanks for stopping by today. And I will see you next time.